Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. First off, last night was the 5K Lefty Live giveaway. I want to say thank you to everybody who came out. We had upwards of close to 300 people, I think, at one point, uh, and that's amazing. I appreciate it very much to the people who loyally follow this channel. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Uh, I'm not always going to do those big, huge live giveaways but 5k seemed special and i wanted to put a spotlight on the companies that donated stuff and that's why i kind of hyped it up the way i did i hope that makes sense um but you'll also see live streams where i just give away stuff randomly you know so it's not going to be 300 people showing up just for a giveaway because that's a lot of times what happens uh but i uh i love you guys and uh yeah so i do have some stuff to open here Real quick, this one is from um, Sticker Mule. So I'm gonna open it with the knife I'm about to review. This is a CRKT knife. I have to look the name up. It's a, a Mike Bond design and uh, it's a slip joint and it goes onto your bag and you can uh, put your finger in this hole here. I don't know if it's meant to be like tactical. I don't think so because it's a slip joint and you can't really do this. So I think it's just meant to be held like this and used like just to have it on your bag. It sits on a carabiner and it's just kind of there, right? Uh, and it also works as a bottle opener. So anyway, uh, they gave me this at Blade Show to check out. I want to do a review on it, so I will be doing that. But first, let me uh, open some stuff with it. So I ordered this from Sticker Mule. They have deals every week, and I just tend to buy them depending on what they are. Um, I jump on the stickers, I jump on the magnets, I jump on the bubble mailers, and I usually skip some of the other things. Um, Sticker Mule has this new, I think, social media platform called Stimulus they're trying to really promote and start. And basically, it tries to give money to... Um, the ad spending to actual like companies and people instead of, I don't, I don't actually have no clue here. You can read it, but, um, to the generous people attach giveaways to their posts. We call them stims to earn attention. Brands need attention to grow. People need money to live. We help both. Uh, there you go. So you can read that. Uh, I haven't checked it out yet just because I haven't checked it out yet. I don't know. But anyway, they had a, a deal on pins. And they're these little acrylic pins. And I guess there's a cover. So there we go. Pull that off. And uh, I got the Dead Nuts logo. And I think they look pretty damn good, actually. Um, this comes off. And you have the little pokey pokey. And you pop it back on. And you can put this on whatever. So I actually think these are really cool. Uh, instead of Ranger Eye patches. I'm just joking. Um, I think I got all of these. I think there's 50 in here and I got them for like 30 bucks. So these will probably just go into my giveaway bin. Um, and I'll just start putting them in packages, but they're actually really nice. I'm actually ex excited that I picked those up. So we got our little dead nuts pin, which is dope. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I don't want to peel another one off. Which one did I? Crap. Now I don't know which one it was. I don't want to keep peeling them off. Anyway, leave that one out. Put these up in the old bin. And then we have a package from uh, Brian Brown. So as you guys may know, I have been through a few Jaegers as of late. This is the copper camo with the flipper. Uh, it doesn't quite give you as much color as some of the other ones. Uh, but it has a really good detent. And that's kind of what's important right now because... I've had uh, five or six of these, and the detents have just been very all over the place. And I don't like a light detent, and this is perfect. So I got this one, which is a Tiffany blue, sorry, Brittany blue one. And it had the same detent problem, and Brian Brown was nice enough to adjust it for me. Now, what I'm worried about is it'll be too strong, right? You never know. It could even... Um, still be weak who knows right that's the thing you never know what's gonna happen with these um 
adjustments because they don't know what I want. You know, they know I want it stronger, but they don't know how I, how I like my detents, right? So it's scary to send your knife off like that. And I've done it before, and I've had a couple that just come back um, it, worse because then the action sucks. So we're going to see what happens. It's a gorgeous knife, and that's why I really want to salvage it. Um, so let's see. It feels pretty good. Now I'm worried. It's pretty good. It's very, it's pretty strong. If it has a little bit of stick now. See, this is what I was worried about, it being too strong. And I know that sounds stupid. Because you wanted it stronger, Kev. But yeah, it, that's the that's the downside to messing with the lock bar. Is that you, you're not messing with anything else. You're just messing with the lock bar and bending it in, right? And what happens is you're applying more pressure. So now a knife that is easy to unlock, like this one, just feels like nothing when I push that over super light just glides out of the way now feels strong like it's too too much pressure and this detent is perfect there's nothing wrong with it this one is see this is what I was worried about it might be too strong now so I think I'm going to take it apart and see if I can make it my own adjustment on it And this is one of those situations where it's like, well, you wanted it stronger. So, like, isn't that on me? You know? Um, and I agree. It, it kind of is. Like, I asked for a stronger detent. But it was too weak. So, it's like... That was a little loose. Um, yeah, it's just too tight now. Which... So, we're going to see about this. It's always easier to adjust a lock bar out as opposed to trying to uh, adjust it the way I'm going to try now. Because now i got to take the insert out, which I think he did because it was a little loose. So make sure I keep that screw separate. All right, that came right out, which is nice. So let's take a look at it. And then what we need to do is look at where it is, right? So the lock bar currently is right there. And it's trying to come up with a line I can see so that when I bend it, I might have to take the clip off too. And my plan is to make a very slight adjustment. So I just want to bring it back a little bit. So right now it's sitting, man, it's hard to gauge a spot. So let me see if I can get this in. So if I zoom in, it's right there, right at that sort of cut right there. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So I want to go a little bit past that, I think. Now I got to take the lock bar insert out again. So I'm just literally going to try to bend it this way. And again, this is dumb because it's already been bent to make it stronger. So Okay. I made the adjustment and I might have went too far. And this is the game now. 
I don't think this is going to work. Um, I think that this... I think that this Jaeger just wasn't set properly from factory. And it, sometimes you just can't do anything. Um, you're going to have to... You're going to have to... Um, bend the lock bar and that's going to cause your tension issues and it all comes down to how they cut the hole and you know the detent ball and all that kind of good stuff and sometimes if it's not done at factory right it's just never going to work because um you're just adding tension removing tension and you might not get a good balance. Like this knife might have already had too much lock bar tension, just not a strong enough detent. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but there's more than just lock bar tension that goes into this. So it's a whole thing. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and hope that we can sort this out. And that was a super minor adjustment. I mean, if you saw what I did, I barely really did anything. Okay. Now I think it's too light again. Look at that though. The difference now on the drop, see how it just swings down? So I need to find myself a middle ground. Cause it's, yeah, it's too weak now. Okay. And then I gotta hope it stays where it is right that it doesn't because it was real easy to adjust it so i'm a little worried it's just gonna and maybe maybe i should have left it and just let it break in but it just felt a little too far so We'll see. And I, guys, I want to make sure I state this. I am not recommending that anybody do this. So please do not think I am recommending you do this. So now the, the lock bar is about here. I need it to where it was, was at this start of this little indent. So I want it in between somewhere. I think I might have just done that. So let's see. Very minor, take our time. We don't need to force anything. I mean, I'm literally forcing it, but we don't need to um, go farther than needed. We don't need to do anything dumb. And I probably don't need to put the whole knife back together as is, but I kind of want it to be the way it, you know, the way it will be. So if anything is messing with our detent, it won't, so to speak. And if I can get this to work out, I might go ahead I feel strong again. I might go ahead and put some of the Moku tie on here because I have the kit. And I think it might work with the Brittany Blue. We'll see. Money. Boom! Drops perfectly. Fires really well. Wow, that was an... I mean, that was a fairly easy adjustment, to be honest. I gotta make sure I didn't underdo it. And it pops pretty well. Really well left-handed. Doesn't feel weak. There's that point 
where it like feels starts to feel weak you know what i mean um where you just i could fail this oh nope i can't I think I nailed it. Let me compare it to this one, because you know that's what I want. I want it to be the same. Yeah, holy shit. Yes, I crushed it, guys. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, I did not fuck the knife up. That's the important thing. So now I'm going to do dumb shit and take it apart again. So what I'm thinking is... And guys, this is just going to be a unboxing stuff and random nonsense, so welcome. So here we have the kit, and I just don't know if any of this... This is the problem with these kits. They're not going to go with the camo carbon very well, are they? You know, it's just not going to look good. It's not going to look good on copper, and it's not going to look good on Britney, I don't think. You know, um, the clip, you know, we can test it. But I kind of want the clip for the uh, Fanatic Edge one. Like, I just don't... I don't know. I, I think it looks gaudy. With the, the Britney already looks fire, you know? So I might have an extra backspacer to sell somebody. Um, somebody already reached out. That's the only one I would think because... You know, I might just give it a little pop. So let's take it apart and see how that looks. And I need to Loctite everything. Pretty ecstatic right now that I got that to do what I wanted. And I'm a little pissed that I had Brian Brown do it because it took... You know, not, not his fault, but, it, you know, I sent it off a week ago or whatever. And I had to wait, you know, where... If I had just done it, like, just manned up and done it myself right away, it wouldn't have been an issue. Um, but you guys can see there, I mean, even an idiot can kind of do it. Now, I can't guarantee it's going to stay and, you know, not have some issues down the line. I got to, you know, obviously carry it. And this is one of the colors I really wanted, so I'm glad that it worked out. Um, so the copper one, here's the thing. I don't know. I, I kind of want to have a flipper in the collection. So I might keep all three, or I might swap blades. So I might put the flipper on to the Brittany, but I also like the non-flipper, so it's kind of a whole thing. Um, I don't know what to do, really. So I think I'll wait until I have all three, and then I'll make my final determinations. And I can test stuff out. There's no reason to rush it, you know. I might as well clean this while I'm here. I don't know what he did, if anything. I could put skiffs in it, but honestly, it doesn't need it, so there's no point. Put that back in. Let's see. Now, this backspacer is a little odd to me because of the... Um length of it i really don't like that it's this long with screws only down here you know it could possibly shift um it's one of the issues we had with our prototype from kubi uh, now it's not quite as long but you'll see here our backspacer is about yeah see it's a bit less it's you know an inch shorter this one you can push in and move it a little bit because they only put the screws down here so we asked for a standoff, or not a standoff, an extra pen, or to shorten the backspacer. So what do you guys think? I might try it and just see what I think ultimately. Let's just Put this together and see. Looks good. I think it works. Kinda. We'll see. I like it enough that I'm gonna 
leave it on and try it. So, um, I want to do this knife shield. I want to put that onto the blade. First, I will wipe it down. You guys can go over to knifepivotlube.com and pick up your knife shield. This stuff is amazing. You can use my code LEFTY10 at checkout for 10% off your order, but... Um, this stuff will clean your knife, get all the gunk off of it, and then it'll leave a nice rust preventative film on there. It actually stops the rusting process, um, which is really cool. I always recommend you make sure you spray in the, in the hole, the slot, the fuller, whatever it is you have on your knife, because that's where a lot of the rust starts is on those areas. All right, so I want to take this out. So I need to Loctite it. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to carry this knife for a day or so, but that's okay. I really just need the tiniest drop because it's a very small screw. That's one thing I'll tell you guys, if you have detent issues on a knife, first thing I would recommend is that you check your uh, insert screw. Now don't over tighten it, but make sure it's tight because that can definitely cause a detent to feel weaker than it is. I've had that come up on a few knives over the years on the channel. And it's a simple kind of fix, you know. Just cleaning everything. I think these are supposed to. Is this this is the collar that kind of like? Ugh. Okay, let's do this real quick because I had my other Jaeger. Um, I could not get it to the Loctite to cure because of because of oil in the pivot. Even my oil tolerant Loctite just could not get it to cure. So I'm going to give it a little alcohol bath. Just to be safe. And then take this and this. And I always use a cloth or something in between so I don't ruin the threads. And usually you want to use a bit, obviously, that's a bit smaller than the pivot so that, you know, see there I got some of the gunk out. And then what I do is I take canned air and I spray it in there. Cover your eyes. Alcohol came shooting out of there. You guys know all this stuff, but... All right, so then this collar goes... Slots in, right? Like that. Just gonna make sure I put this back in the right way, yep. And then this goes in like so. Then this guy. Okay. Clean the stop pin because why not? If you have the time to clean it, trust me, it's worth it. 
Like so, you see there's a little bit of something around the stop pin slot there. Okay. I have not touched these bearings, have I? Now that I have the alcohol out, might as well, right? Thought I'd get a couple unboxings then. I had off today. Um, but took the kid to daycare. And then I packaged up some stuff, the giveaway stuff. And then took a nap, which is awesome. I can't remember the last time I just took a nap randomly. It's good for the soul. Um, and then, look at that, it's probably from the knife shield. Probably, might not be good to have that where your blade's gonna ride. Also, would probably spray that detent hole with canned air just to be safe. It's one thing I love about Riot, they use a pass-through detent hole, so any shit that gets in there can come out the other side. It's really nice. Uh, let me put this in here. Yeah, I had the collars, too. I had the full set, but my buddy Joe really wanted the collars, so I gave him the collar. He actually gave me a backspacer. Like, we didn't plan that. It just, he was being nice, and I was being nice. Uh, gotta love my brother Joe, so. Yes, that's a lot of KPL, but you'll see why. I don't, um, I don't put oil anywhere but on my hands, so. All right. I want to make sure there's no oil or lube or anything in the pivot because that's kind of been my problem with this knife. So I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to put it just clean up right around the pivot. Can air again. Just being safe, guys. That's all. You don't have to do all this if you don't want to. Um, and then I take a little bit of heavy because I like KPL heavy. And when I say a little bit, that's the tiniest little dot and then I smear it. So, all right, I think we're good to go. Put this guy on. I don't know if I love this um, backspacer, but I'm stuck with it for now. Putting these screws in a little bit. Okay, now we can get the big boy in. Might have been a little much. Okay, centering looks a little off to the clip side, but that's probably because uh, I might have over-tightened it, which is fine. So I'll work my way in. No play. 
I don't know if it's the backspacer. Something feels a little tappy. That was loose. That might have been it. That's better. So I'm gonna give it one flick. Oh my God, that felt good. No play, slings down. Centering, man, it's just slightly off. So I am gonna back it off a hair just to get it off a little hair. Ooh, see, yeah, that felt like too much. I think I'm just gonna deal with it. It's not really that off, just a little bit. And I think this one's the same way. Oop. Yeah, they're both just slightly off. In my eyes, the very tip might be centered, but I don't want to lose the stability, and it's still dropping like a gem. And yeah, it just, I don't know, the way it clicks in just sounds different, and it has to be that backspacer because it didn't sound like that before. And the clip isn't tappy. This one... Listen, hear it with thud. Just a little different is all. All right, so I'm gonna let it lock tight. I got the backspacer on there. I can always put the clip on if I, if I wanna put that on too, but I think just that nice little pop of color is gonna be good. I think the clip would be over the top um, for this guy, you know? I don't know, we'll see. I wanted to save a backspacer and a clip for the uh, Fanatic Edge one. And that one has blue collar, so I think it'll work very well. And it's plain tie, you know. So I think this is perfect now. So I want to say thank you to Brian Brown for adjusting it for me. Um, even though I didn't stick with the adjustment, I did my own after. It, it gave me the confidence to do it, I think, on the knife that he went ahead and did it and was willing to and all that stuff. So... Um, plus it's a fantastic knife. So, uh, you know, great job, Brian. Obviously I love it. I have two here and another one coming and I've owned like six. So absolutely great knife. That's the Jaeger M, uh, from Brian Brown. And then I, uh, obviously unboxed these cool dead nuts pins that are going to go into giveaways and packages as they go out. So, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions, concerns, anything. Again, I don't recommend you do this without talking to Brian Brown. I'm not going to sit here and recommend bending lock bars and whatnot. Um, I did it myself just to get it done. And I've done it in the past. I've done it on a stout prototype. I've done it on other knives. And it is kind of hit or miss. I've had it really backfire on me. And I've had it go really well. So... We'll see long term how this one pans out, but I gotta say, I just like the Brittany Blue way better than the Copper. I love the flipper, I love the action on this one, uh, but the coloring and everything on this one is just up my alley. So um, this is the one I plan on keeping and I might do a flipper swap, a blade swap at some point and then sell the frame on this one with the non-flipper because my Fanatic Edge one is gonna be a, um, non-flipper so it seems silly to have two non-flippers if i if i do really like the function of the flipper i do so that's it i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later